Welcome back on CellularMagazine.it. Today we are with the designer of Nokia. Dan Gracio. And um, the guys of the forum uh, just uh, wrote me some questions to ask, so I will just make these two questions. Uh, the first one was about the design um, of the phone. It was inspired by um, remote control of the 90s. And uh, if it's not, where was the inspiration to come from? Okay. Um, it's a really nice question. I like that. Um, but uh, actually, it wasn't inspired by the remote, con remote controls. Um, we find our inspiration from looking at uh, what, consumers, what consumers want. And every product that we do, we start with this basic idea of observing and then designing. So in the case of, of this product, uh, we looked not only at sort of where we're coming from, from the Express music products, evolving into this new series of Express uh, of X series products, so the X6 being the newest. Um, and we also look at, so it's evol evolution of, of a Nokia language, design language, but then it's also looking at what are the current trends and what do youth want. In this case, this is a product that's, that's targeted and more uh, focused on a younger population who want to express themselves. And, and through the design, I think we're trying to express that kind of um, hopefulness, the edginess that we were seeing in the marketplace, um, as well as some of the characteristics of, of how they're expressing themselves through fashion. So the language is really coming out through that. Um, and very specifically, I mean, we were thinking about metaphors of the internet. So in some ways, you can, you can look at the product as a way of, of grabbing onto content, of grabbing onto media that's streaming through your hand, which is actually why we actually had this logic of, of, in a way, cutting the ends of the product off, that you're actually allowing information to flow through it. So that's actually the inspiration for how we came to the design. La domanda era se per questo modello dell'X6 si fossero ispirati ai telecomandi degli anni eh, 90 in particolare e la risposta è non proprio visto che eh, si sono ispirati eh, partendo dal linguaggio con cui avevano sviluppato gli altri ehm, Express Music di Nokia e l'evoluzione, quindi la serie X, e questo modello infatti è l'X6, è praticamente l'evoluzione di questo linguaggio dedicato ai, a un target molto giovanile che vede nel telefonino il modo di esprimersi, quindi di avere il proprio mondo di internet ma anche la propria musica e tutte le funzionalità multimediali. Infatti eh, l'impugnatura in particolare è come se il telefono venisse impugnato in questo modo e il flusso di internet dall'alto al basso fluisse attraverso il telefono e questa fosse proprio ehm, la propria finestra eh, e quindi anche tagliata in maniera abbastanza decisa nella parte alta e nella parte bassa per esprimere proprio questo concetto di eh, taglio e questo concetto di fruizione dall'alto verso il basso dei contenuti sempre attraverso eh, il proprio modo di essere ma anche il proprio modo di eh, personalizzare di esprimere proprio come concetto di express music il proprio mondo uh, the second question was uh, if this phone is uh, studied but probably you already answered in the first one um, just for young generation or uh, can be useful fixed uh, also in elder generation like a target of more than 45 years person that are not very um, let's say technologically but uh, uh, less interest in um, social networking or um, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think first you have to think about Nokia's portfolio of products. So we have mm -hmm. products that, that in a way are very designed and focused on different types of consumer needs. Mm -hmm. And when we say it's designed for youth, it mm -hmm. actually is a bit more specifically young at heart. Mm -hmm. So that can be really be any actual age. Um, we may look more at the youth who are more uh, integrated into the latest, greatest trends, um, but that may be totally relevant to someone in their 40s or 50s or 60s, and we see this all the time in, in the people who buy our products. So the heritage that Nokia has of ease of use, of uh, familiarity of where controls and functions are, remains in each of our products. 
but it, we start to bring in new characteristics and new qualities. And in this case, we've brought in a lot more music focus and a lot more social networking focus. Um, la seconda domanda invece a cui è stata data un minimo di risposta prima era se questo telefono è per un, era per un target giovanile o per un target diverso. La risposta è eh, sì, quando noi intendiamo un target di giovani non è eh, un, per età ma è per modo di viversi la vita, se sono giovani dentro, se sono giovani nel cuore e quindi sì, questo telefono è sviluppato per quelli giovani nel cuore, per quelli che um Vedono, in questa, che vedono nella tecnologia un modo di poter interagire e un modo di poter ehm, fruire dei vari contenuti che siano media, che siano altro eh, è sempre eh, il poter dare una piattaforma il più ricca possibile per poi poter aggiungere eh, il loro mondo Can you show us a function that you really love that uh, you, you saw like the one that for you makes the... Um, makes your day, makes something you happy. <laughs> well, I think one of the things I really love, and I'll show you my phone here, um, is... is uh, don't grab his contact, eh? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, exactly. I don't try not to show you my phone numbers. But uh, one of the things I really love is, is being able to see uh, pictures of the people in, in my life and, and who I communicate with frequently. So, you know, these... these and I've, I've put in abstract pictures in a lot of cases here because, you know, these remind me of the, of the people I work with or, or am close to. And it's a fun way of having instant access to, to the contacts. Um, if I go into a contact, I then have the instant uh, possibility of being able to go and uh, call them, send a message, or see web feeds from them. Um, also, being able to have instant access to my email on screen here, so I can instantly just tap there and go to my email. So I see how many I have. I can even have it streaming that I see what the latest headlines are, the latest uh, topics are. And that, that's, that's fantastic. La funzione che preferisce è quella di avere i contatti tutti attraverso degli shortcut eh, che come potete vedere scorrono molto fluidamente, eh, ci sono alcune immagini eh, astratte, lui ha preferito ricordarli così e quindi con facilità si può, eh, can I? Yes. Si può premere un'immagine e uscirà tutti i propri contatti <ride> e nei propri contatti ci saranno tutte le ehm, email, il numero di telefono, quindi uno shortcut facilmente accessibile e fruibile. Lo stesso vale per le mail, in una sola riga di testo ha quante email ha ancora da leggere e come mettere la cosa il più velocemente possibile. Uh, we really thank you for your time and uh, we really uh, like the phone so we really like to also see the dead of the design of the phone. Thanks a lot. Well, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Per cellularemagazine.it Emilio Vignapiano.